Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is our lesson 7 on Trison Task Automation Tool. So in this session, I'm going to cover the topics like dynamic date expressions and random expressions with some examples in Task Automation Tool. Okay, so stay tuned. Please subscribe to my channel. Click on bell icon so that you will receive notifications for the next lessons okay so before i uh, walk you through the actual task automation tool so let me cover some of the topics uh, theoretical topics uh, so dynamic date expressions so the dynamic date expression is actually specified in a curly braces with the expression in front of the value and then you are going to specify base date in the square brackets and then you are going to specify the offset that you would like to use in the square bracket and then you are also going to specify the format in which you would like the value to be returned in the square brackets okay so coming to expression so there are multiple expression formats available in Tosca, which is the first uh, expression is a date expression, which returns the date. And the second one is time expression, which returns the time. And the next one is date time, which returns your date and time. And the next one is month last, which returns the last day of your month and month first which returns the first day of your month okay so this expression is case sensitive so whatever the letter basically everything is capital letter so you have to follow the same case sensitive okay and then the base date okay so the base date is according to task or date format okay so i'm going to show you where does this date format exist in the Tasca? Okay, so we have a uh, settings where uh, Tasca shows you the format of the date. If you want to use a different date format, then you have to go to settings and change the date format. So, okay, so I'm going to show you while walking through the application and then offset. Okay, so if you specify offset as plus two Y, that means it's going to add two years to your expression okay and if you specify minus 4 capital M which means it's gonna add a delete I mean basically subtract the four months okay and plus 2 W which means here it's gonna add two working days to your provided value okay and then your format so basically you can specify the format of your output okay so dd represents your two digit date format and percentile d represents whenever possible it returns only one digit if it has to return two digit then it is gonna return two digit that means if you are january it's one right it's going to return only one it's not going to return zero one okay if it is uh, november then it's going to return one one okay and in dd every time it's going to return two digits even though it is january it's going to return zero one okay and then yy which is again two digit format of the year and if you specify the format as yyy then it's going to return four digit year and then percentile capital m it's going to return the month in two digit format or in one digit format whenever it is possible okay and then mm capital m m it's going to return only month in two digit two digit format okay and then capital m m m is going to return you the characters of your month first three characters basically the month in three character length okay and then capital m m m m is going to return the full name of the month okay hope you understand okay so i'm gonna walk you through the task application and show you how can we use these expressions while providing the test step values okay 
Okay, so let me uh, explain about uh, some of the dynamic date examples here. Okay, so if you provide the value, basically what we are talking about here, if in case if you provide the test step value as capital D A T E in the curly braces with three square brackets, okay, then it is gonna return. Basically, it is gonna put the value in the in your system date format okay and if you are entering the value as capital D A T E and two empty uh, square brackets and then you specify four y's in the third uh, square bracket then it is gonna take the year only year in the four digit format okay and if you enter the value as a date with one square bracket and then in the next square bracket if you specify plus 2m and then in third bracket if you specify m m then that means it's going to pass the value in two digit format two digit month format and it's going to add two months to your current system date okay and then if you specify date and then in the first bracket if you are specifying some example of the format date format that means it's going to consider it's going to base the date format as you specified in the first bracket and then it's going to add three years to the specified date and then it's going to return the date in the format ddmmyy okay basically is going to take the value in the format ddmmyy okay hope you understand the dynamic date examples okay and now let me walk you through the actual application and show you how can we use these dynamic date formats in tosca while steering the application or while automating the application okay so let me explain what is a dynamic random expression so basically to steer the application we have to instruct tasca in providing the values correct so during providing the values so you can also use some expressions so that you can instruct tasca to enter some run random values okay so what is the syntax we generally uh, the syntax for providing any random values is a curly braces so within the curly braces you are going to provide the syntax so first within the syntax first you are going to provide a command that you would like to perform and then you will be providing the parameters right so here the command for the random expression is rnd is the command capital R and D and your parameter if you see the first row I have provided a parameter as 5 that means it's gonna enter a random value of 5 digits okay and the next one if you see there is a random uh, command called R and D and the parameter values shows first parameter is 3 and second parameter is 9 that means it's gonna create a random value between 3 and 9 okay and then to create a random text you are going to use a command called random text capital letters and provide the text length if i provide the text length as 5 it's going to create a random text which includes numeric as well as the numbers okay it provides the random text with a length 5 in the same way random decimal so you are gonna provide a command called rnd decimal and then you are going to provide a digit number of digits that you would like to randomly generate which is 5 and number of decimals that you would like to generate randomly which is 2 okay so this way you can create a basically generate a random expressions within the value column for task or to enter the values okay so now let me walk you through the uh, task tool so where 
How, I will explain you with an example how can we use the random expressions and the date expressions. Okay, so if you see in the previous uh, lesson, I have already explained you. So let me expand this. Okay, I have already explained you how to enter the values, right? How to enter the test step values in Tosca so that uh, Tosca tool can steer the application for the automated scenarios, right? So now let me just go back to the module called um, checkout process, okay, where we will be providing the credit card details, okay. So now instead of hard coding the test step values, you can use random expressions and also you can use the date expressions, okay. So now let me See, let me show you an example for the random expression, okay? So here, I would like to, instead of using hard-coded value of month, let's assume I want to use a random expression, okay? What we do, we are going to start with the curly brace and then as soon as you type RN, so it will pop up the expressions that you can use, okay? select rnd here okay i'm gonna select rnd and in square brackets i would like to specify let's assume i want to specify here oh not here let me do, let me go back again okay so here i want to use a card number okay credit card number as a random number okay if that is the case rnd okay you have to start with the curly brace don't forget to start with the curly brace and then open square braces and let's assume i want to specify as 10 and close the curly brace as you know as soon as you click on enter if a value if it is a valued expression it's going to turn like this rnd 10 so that means our expression is valid now let's see what value does really task or takes okay so for that you can easily validate every expression by right clicking and then you have to and click on translate value so as soon as you click on translate value it's going to show you what value it is returning basically what value it is taking here okay so it's taking 10 digit random value okay and now let's again let me click again okay let me again click on translate value now it is going to generate another 10 digit random value here okay so this is the way you can use the random and let me also use some other random format random expression format okay for card code okay again curly brace rnt square braces now let's say i want to use another format as i want to generate a random three digit code okay from 100 to 999 let's assume okay this is my three digit code right card code is a three digit code so which i want to generate a three digit random values okay so that's why i'm specifying 100 to 999 okay i see here it did not turn into the random format so that means i missed the closed curly brace okay close curly brace enter so now my format is correct and now see let's see what values it's gonna take okay right click translate value see it's generated three digit 680 between 100 and 999 let me again generate it okay so it generated the value 778 again which is in between 100 and 999 okay so this way you can use a random expressions now let's see what are all the date expressions we have okay let me use date expression now okay so let's assume here i am specifying the month correct so here instead of hard coding month 04 i would like to use a format so that it generate the future future month okay uh, let's assume so i am going to again open curly brace as soon as you enter date okay it's going to populate date and then let me specify all the three 
square brackets okay in the first square bracket i just want to use the system date format okay i'm gonna leave that i mean basically i want to consider a base date as a system date okay that's why i'm leaving that and then here i'm gonna specify as 3m sorry plus 3m that means what i am saying it has to enter the month which is three months future from the current month okay and then i am specifying the format that it has to return basically it has to consider the format of two digits okay and then click enter so now if you see and now let me see what value it is it, it is going to take here okay click on and then right click and then click on translate value so as soon as you click on translate value see it is returning 11 why because my current system month is 8 which is august and then it added three months to august september october november that's why it is returning 11 okay and now let's say i want to also remove this hard coded year 2022 i want to use it as a random expression date expression okay how we are going to do again date and then three square braces and close one curly brace and then here again i want to let's say i want to you take the base data system date okay i'm going to leave that first bracket as empty and here i'm going to specify let's assume i want to take a future four years okay 4y and then i want to return four year digits four year four digits okay why 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 okay and then click enter okay so now let's see what it is gonna return now okay for us so current year is 2020 right so now it should return let's see what it is gonna return for us right click translate value so it's returned 2024 okay so if you want to take some base date okay as you want to take it as one base date then you can enter the date format here for the base date okay so now what is one more thing is what is your date format that tasca is going to take so where can you see the date format here so if you go to project and then if you go to settings under settings <coughs> you should go to T box under T box there is a dynamic temporal expressions under dynamic temporal expressions see if you see my date format is this one so basically you can define the date format here okay so I did not disturb this date format so whatever the default task that format is there so I just left everything here okay so this is the way uh, basically task takes the date format from the settings okay so now you all understand how to use a random rum expressions and also the random date expressions while passing the test step values to your application when you are automating the application okay so hope you all understand the concept so i'm going to cover the rest of the topics in next session which is lesson 08 okay stay tuned uh, i'm gonna cover uh, the some of the topics where i can show you end-to-end -end automation uh, script completion uh, by tasca and then how can we run the tasca so that it steers the application in and it tests the application okay so please subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon so you will receive a notification whenever I publish new videos on Tasca. Okay. Thank you all.